a courtroom food fight over the ingredients in garden veggie straws. A former beauty queen who sues so much she's no longer welcome in court. And a woman looking to make some cheddar in a lawsuit over a nacho cheese burn. These are the most ridiculous lawsuits in episode 4. Garden veggie straws claim to have less fat than potato chips. But a lawsuit in federal court against the snack's maker contends there's something else veggie straws has less of. Vegetables. Two plaintiffs are seeking class action status on behalf of everyone who has purchased veggie straws in the last six years. They allege that the snack contains potato starch and flour, cornstarch, tomato paste, and spinach powder. The suit seeks monetary relief and an injunction against the so-called misleading advertising of veggie straws. Until this ridiculous lawsuit is heard in court, we won't know if the plaintiff's case can celery the judge on the merits or if the judge will tell them to beat it. Speaking of telling someone to beat it, a judge in Ontario, Canada has told a woman known for filing frequent lawsuits that she's no longer welcome in court. One-time beauty queen Althea Reyes has been declared quote-unquote a vexatious litigant for her abuse of the court's process and waste of judicial and public resources. According to the Toronto Star, Reyes has sued at least 30 people, companies, and organizations since 2011, including men she's had relationships with, a school board, bank employees, a pawn shop, a dry cleaner, and lawyers who opposed her in court. Even complete strangers aren't safe. She sued one of those too. She even tried to sue the Toronto Sun to stop a journalist covering her story from contacting her. The quote-unquote vexatious litigant designation means Reyes now needs to seek the court's permission before filing any lawsuits. And a woman from Wichita Falls, Texas is suing the federal government after she alleged a bowling alley employee at Shepard Air Force Base spilled hot nacho cheese sauce on her finger. She claims that the cheesy injury resulted in restricted work hours and ultimately in her losing her job. The suit seeks $95,000 for her injury and damages. That's a lot of cheese. To vote on these or to see more ridiculous lawsuits, go to facesoflawsuitabuse.org.